part two of Alpha. What's up everybody? It's your girl Beatavia and I am back with another video. Welcome to Real Talk Tuesday. Now if you don't know by now, Real Talk Tuesday is where I discuss what society's issues are today and I also discuss the events and the people who have impacted society whether it be in the past or present in a negative or positive way if you haven't seen my Wayne Perry videos go check those out I did a part one and a part two and today will be the part two of Alpo I mean, really the viewers gave me the idea of me being a woman me being young it kind of shook it up it kind of shook the conversation up and a lot of people thought I was wrong about specific things and in my part two, I, I want to clear up a couple of things as well as I want to clarify a couple of things because a lot of what I said, it just flew over a lot of people's heads. So, if you are ready for part two of Alpo Martinez, here it is. Oh, and I must say this. All the information that I am discussing is public information, okay? You can Google it and you can form your own opinion as I did my research I'm not saying that your opinion is incorrect but you do not have to disrespect okay I want to clear up one specific thing about Alpo Martinez part one I was not saying Alpo wasn't a shooter I was not talking about in specific the stick up kids I wasn't talking about the charges that he got from that I was talking about the specific murders of Rich, Andre, and Big Head Gary. Okay? So, the one thing that I want to talk about and decode in this video is the murder of Andre. Because a lot of people say, oh, no, he didn't know about that. He didn't set him up. Yada, yada. So, I formed my own opinion. I'm a Sagittarius, so if you say I'm wrong, I'm going to show you that I'm not wrong. You feel me? So that's exactly what I'm going to do today. I'm going to pull up the interview from jail that Alpo did discussing the murder of Andre, and I'm going to tell you why I said what I said. Caprice and this and that. I said, all right, man. He said, man, this time I want to talk to him. So I said, all right, no problem. So I had a deal. I had a deal with the kid Andre for about two hundred seventy. Okay. About two hundred seventy thousand. This day he wanted some. He wanted some drugs. So I said, Yo, we killed two birds with one stone. I'm going to meet him, take care of this business with him, and you can talk to him at the same time. Okay. So, uh, so I go meet the kid. So we go meet the kid at my. Big head Gary, baby mother. Her name is Caprice. Caprice and Andre start smashing, you feel me? So, at this point, when Gary found out, he already approached Andre about it and told him to stop fucking with his girl. He just flagged us down, buck to you. Dre pulled over, Gary pulled over. They could get talking. I mean, he was crying to me about Caprice fucking this bitch. He come home every night telling this bitch how much he liked Dre, how much he look up to Dre. If something happened to him, he wouldn't mind her fucking with a nigga like Dre. If not Dre, turn around with Dre fucking this bitch. So basically, I asked Dre to stop fucking this bitch. So they shook hands on it, and that was it. So Dre fucked the bitch one last time. That was it. And the bitch was like a stalk on my nigga. We had to change the cell phone in the car, the beepers and everything. So she trying to say we scared of Gary. That's why Dre don't want to fuck him. Dre was like, not gave the man my word. I'm not fucking with him anymore. So I know some hatred shit. She lied to her boyfriend, baby daddy, Big Head Gary, and said that she was pregnant by Andre. Now that is right before this happens. He already had a conversation with Andre. If you thinking logically, why would you bring somebody to a meeting when you doing business and you know he got a bigger problem than talking? You know when a person is past really talking. They can say that that's what they're there for, but you you know. How did you not know? Favorite spot over there on Minnesota and Pennsylvania Avenue over there by Amico. 
I goes, I told Gary, I said, just chill, man. Let me go talk to him. I have a 5.0 this day. I said, let me go talk to him, and then you come. So I got into the truck. I told the kid, Andre, I said, what's up, man? I said, everything all right? He said, yeah. I said, well, what's going on, man? You, you bad? He said, nah, this and that. So my man Gary, here come my man Gary. As I'm talking to him. But he said, let me go talk to him, and then you get in the car. But you're not talking to him about Gary's problem. To the, kid. the kid Andre jumped into the back of the caravan to go uh, to go get the money out and all that. Okay. And uh, I was over in the passenger seat. So my man Gary, he comes from out my car, which he was in the passenger seat, and comes around through the driver's side to the empty seat. So the kid Andre is coming from the back seat to the middle seat now with the bag of money. Mm -hmm. So as soon as he, the kid... Andre turns around to look at me and let me know that the bag that my man Gary is coming in the car and hit him right in the head. Boom! My man Gary was strapped all the time. He knew he was going to kill him, but he knew not to tell me because I was going to tell him, no, don't do that. So now I'm like, oh, Gary, what? He's like, yo, man, the hell with that dude, man. He was this and that, this is bad. I said, all right. But in my mind, I'm saying, yeah, you right. Because now, now I got the girl all to myself, so we killed two birds one. I'm saying I'm gonna miss the money, but I got I got the girl now too. Well, I got the 270 now. If you're doing a business deal, and your friend from your car unexpectedly come where you at and shoot the person you doing business with, you telling me you're not gonna be mad? You telling me having a girl is better than having money back to back? Now, what Alpo didn't know is that was going to be Andre's last dealings with him anyway. So, I don't, I'm not sure if he knew that, too. You know, that's a possibility that word got back to him that he's moving to such and such and they ain't going to be doing business no more. That could be a possibility. But you really telling me that, A, you're not surprised that this just happened? because you didn't know you had to know i'm the type of person where you you just can't tell me that like you can't tell me that you can't tell me that you didn't know and you can't tell me that you didn't know that they had already talked about this specific thing you know what i'm saying they had already talked about caprice and everything like this so my thing is being a real nigga you ask so what y'all got to talk about like more you know what I'm saying? Like, what is there more to talk about if y'all already talked? B, you just can't tell me that you didn't know his intentions, you know? In this meeting, y'all driving there in the same car. You like, oh, I'm going to talk to him, and then you come and you talk to him. That's a setup to me. The girl that he's talking about is Andre's girl. Wow. Andre is smashing Big Head Gary's girl. Alpo is smashing Andre's girl. Now, how messy is that? So I take the money. I said, man, what the hell? I take the money. He had a Rolex on. We left all that. We... I said, man, follow me in the car, man. Go, go. I said, here, here, take this bag. Take the car. Follow me. So we drove about five, six blocks away from that area. Right. And like in a residential area, a nice quiet block. I just threw him down on the floor. Wiped off everything that we touched and all that. And just left him there. And they found him like two days later, three days later, because from the, from the stench of the body and all that. Because it was like summertime, so his body started stinking and they found him. Did the girl think that you did that? No, she didn't think it at first, because the same, she beat me. As soon as she found out, it was like, yo, they killed Andre, she cried. So, you know, I'm like, hold on, boo-boo, don't worry about it. <laughs> We're going to find out who did that. Mm -hmm. So I'm going over there, comforting her and telling her to calm down and this and that. And so now we got that 270. And uh, I give my man a hundred thousand. I keep one seventy. And uh, I was that on that one. I was that on that one. Yeah, he was. My thing is this: he, his reasoning. First of all, he's saying that he didn't know that it was gonna happen. But then, in the same instance, he's saying, "Oh well," and then helps him with after the fact, you know, dumping the body, and then says. Well, now I have the girls for myself. He said he violated by not leaving Gary's baby mama alone. 
that's not no good enough reason and that's exactly what i'm talking about a lot of people want to make excuses about you know the things that happen and the things that transpired and saying what would you do i wouldn't do that it happened and a lot of people don't talk about it in the way that i do so i'm here to talk about it it's just as simple as that what would be a good enough reason that would kind of make sense what he gave you fake money what he he didn't show up this that and the third you was waiting on him what what and it has nothing to do with you but it does because you want his girl and that's that's the exact thing that i'm talking about when it comes to alpo a lot of the things that he had going on a lot of the things that went down was because of women and it's like what og you know have those type of feelings you can't get in your feelings like that over a girl you can't get it mixed up and that's what a lot of people have a problem with even today you know in dc is getting business emotions and feelings caught up all up, all in one so a lot of people want to say oh well why why are you talking about it because i want to that's number one my number two is because this stuff is very relatable to a lot of things that transpire in today's time a lot of this street shit is behind the smallest things that can be talked about and if you need clarification again you should be able to get that but it's like a lot of people can't even make it that far and a lot of the drama comes from you know a better woman a lot of the things that transpire in today's time is very relatable to this this situation so why wouldn't i talk about it and it's just as simple as this a og in your opinion can be a different thing right in my opinion not an OG because even after de describing and depicting how these murders went down, the reasoning that he gives is not good enough. And I'm here to say, I said what I said. So thank you for watching today's Real Talk Tuesday. If you have anything to say on this topic, specifically, leave a comment below and I will be gladly to comment back. I will see you guys in my Thursday video and thank you. Bye.